Hey there, either holder fire familia, and welcome to Narjan Reacts. And this we're reacting to the Dragon Prince Season 2, Episode 7. Now, before we get into it, I wanted to show off that I now am officially a fellow member of the Human Rayla Clan. So I have my greetings, fellow humans, human fellows shirt. So, yeah, all right, let's get into it. <laughs> fire and Fury. Are we gonna have the Sunfire Elf again? The, like, leader? Or general? What are you doing, Helm? I'm trying to figure out the puzzle or the key. What do you think this thing is anyway? A box of chocolates? A key, but... Or are you losing debate at a game of rolly cubes? Rolly cubes. So much swirling around in my head. Also, can I just say I love how now that because Callum uh like comforted Bait or like told Bait to come back to hang with him and everything, now Bait is like hanging out with Callum. Like, he's closer to Callum now. <laughs> it's so cute. But, so, when you do cool moon powers, you're connecting to the cool moon, Cool moon right? powers. What does that feel like? Uh, I don't really think about it. I just stand in the light of the full- Her face! I thought she was gonna be like, like, neutral with it, like, calm and all that. She's just- I stand! <laughs> full moon, and then there's the feeling like, ah, uh, wah, 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 wah. And then there's- Shwa, wah, 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 And then- did she actually just do the anime's like Sailor Moon Girl pose? Rayla. And then there's a sort of ting. Uh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and then moon shadow powers. Sounds like a transformation spell. No, not at all. But I enjoy it was entertaining. It. The theatrics with her, I swear. I love Rayla. She could have just simply said, oh, it's just like a feeling, and then boom, it happens. But nah, she's got this whole theatrics with this, and then like this. <laughs> You look like you're having fun being tied up and trail around, or dragged around. No, not this time. Wait, how many times have they untied him and he's tried to escape? <laughs> Maybe just once because of how Soren said it. This time will be different. I promise. You sure? Huh. Soren. No. Fool me three times. Back to you again. So wait, has he fooled him twice then? Or no. Once and then twice would have been on No. It's gotta be three times then, right? That's not how it goes. <laughs> shame on you. It's shame on both of you at the end. That's gonna be crazy dangerous. Eh. For not, well, not for me, for you. Maybe not. There's a river of lava. One does not simply it's walk It's a sauna. Zadia. Actually. Did he just say what I think he just said? Did he just say what I think he just said? Into Zadia. River of lava. One does not simply walk into Zadia. Really? We're doing a Lord of the Rings quote here? One does not simply walk into Mordor. Okay. <laughs> whoever slipped that in there, not slipped it in, whoever put that in there, tip my hat to you. <laughs> Even for you, magic or no magic. Human or non human. Come. Could that be a. F like a sunfire dragon or something like that? Because it looks like a... Hold on, I want to see real quick. It looks reddish. I think that's like a fire... Sunfire lava dragon. I don't think it's a... I don't think it's a storm dragon. That or it could be like a brownish red and maybe it's a, like earth dragon? Words and deeds. Standard trader stuff. Trader, trader. He's a trader. If I didn't make that clear. Excuse me, crown guard here. They don't care, Soren. Something's weird. No, no one's listening to me. What? <laughs> Thank you, Claudia. <laughs> there, it's back. It's back. Oh, the dragon? We're gonna get to see it up close. Is that a dragon? A dragon. A big one. It is red, I knew it. Oh, you're black and red and yellow. This has got to be a fire dragon, right? You're cool looking. You're smaller too than- You look like an adolescent, you don't look like a full adult. 
or is it fake? <laughs> I just noticed the look that the tracker gave, and he kind of looks like he's not believing it. Okay, that's that's ringing off like sus bells. That it hasn't attacked them; it's just flown over them for three nights, as if it's just trying to scare them. And you haven't shot it down yet. What are those ballistas for? Looks. Well, it hasn't attacked us. So. I love how this shows you how Vera and Ray's, uh, at least Soren, or yeah, like Ray's Soren and everything, because over in uh, oh, I blanked on on their on their castle. Um, I know it starts with a C. Um, but uh, how they, as soon as they see a dragon, would just be firing at it and everything, like any threat, like anything, like elves, dragons, they'd just be immediately firing at it. But this town, they're like, well, it hasn't given us a reason to. So why are we gonna shoot it? Where our Sora is just like, what? Why have you shot it as soon as you saw it? So it's just the different perspectives or how each, uh, how the different ones were raised. <laughs> it's the enemy. I'm taking command here. We don't know it's the enemy though. It's just trying to intimidate us. <laughs> well then, I'll we'll intimidate right back by firing at it. You're cool looking. I hope you're real because you have a cool design. There's no, there's no way they waste a design like that just for like a prank or an illusion or something, right? Because <laughs> it looks too cool. Please don't start a fight you can't finish. You're like your dad. You're being like your dad right now. You know, if he gets this town to like, what if they leave and come back to the town being completely destroyed and everyone dead? <laughs> that would be that would be an interesting uh, uh, weight on Soren's shoulders that he made that decision to attack like his dad would have, but then it ends up costing. Everyone in their lives in that village and stuff. Huh. See? Scared it up. He's gonna Dragon problem no. solved. He's coming. Oh, is he gonna bring back more? I swear if he goes back with I don't know, he's just pissed off now. That's not a good sound. That's a I'm pissed off now sound. <laughs> Way to go. Wait. This little I can't help it, but copy Zim's little noises. They're so freaking cute. We don't know if it's safe out there. Fate, He's another dragon, though. He might be able to talk to this dragon. Oh yeah, this is a f this is a fire dragon. <laughs> yeah, brilliant idea, Soren. Oh, we're pulling a we're pulling a freaking um not Aragon. We're pulling a freaking uh, smog right now. <laughs> Just f flame the entire village. You happy now, Soren? Why is it attacking that town? Uh, I don't know. Soren, simple, simple word. Can't be mad at the dragon now. Get ready to fire. I would have been like, I told you, you shouldn't have attacked it. This dragon's much more agile. So this is gonna weigh on Soren. I can see it. You're gonna free him, aren't you? I don't understand. These people need help. Get as many as you can. It wouldn't have needed help if you hadn't fired at it, Soren. Hope you at least realize that too. I think I really messed up this time, Claude. <laughs> I hope she's in the background. He turns and she's just like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the eye of a griffin. With a this, griffin. I, I want to see a griffin now. To never miss its target, no matter what. So you just carry a griffin eyeball around with you? Ew. Who does that? Oh, Who does that? About? Thank you for carrying a griffin's eye with you, Claudia. You're so prepared. You're the best. She's not wrong fully. Thank you, Claudia. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> I do love these two when they're together, like they're dynamic and everything. <laughs> but sorry, yeah, I hope you learn from this. Are we gonna actually kill off a dragon here? Is it gonna turn back around? It's like a homing missile, isn't it? Oh. Please hit it somewhere where it doesn't like kill it, but like hurts it, so then uh, Rayla and Callum can help it. How to treat a dragon? We're gonna save the dragon? Of course it happens to land where they are, or close to them.
Save it, save it, save it, save it. Become friends, befriend it. Of course, Esmond's gonna run off. That'd be me. Is it dead? It's not. They're gonna help it. Is this gonna be like freaking How to Train Your Dragon? But instead of a Night Fury, it's freaking. Yes, befriend the big dragon now. <laughs> He looks so disappointed that things didn't go his way at the meeting. <laughs> he looks like he looks like Soren right now, I'll be honest. How dare you? Did she find you about the letters? King Harold's mm. field to summon the Pentarchy, and then you lied to them. You called yourself the regent of Catalus. You committed Catalus, that's the name. Okay. I knew it started with a C. I'm like, is it Callus? And I'm like, no. And I didn't want to dig myself a hole, so. Treason, Viren. And for what? I was trying to save us all. Nothing. You're in pain. Don't worry. Obviously. I can help you. It's so cool looking. I love this dragon's there, design. Beneath her wing. Oh, her. That's Rowan, a big spear. Help me. How are you going to get that out? That's going to really hurt. Okay, it wasn't that deep. Uh oh, how are they gonna move her? Come on! Uh, uh, hey! <laughs> Hopefully, she plays dead. It's funny because I don't really care about it, but she's rubbing it in so hard. <laughs> I think it's. We can't be too sure. Oh. Secure the dragon. The way he kicked it, and it sounded like a car or something, <laughs> or like a log. What are we gonna do with it? I thought for a moment he was actually gonna like go to chop its head off and I was gonna be like, oh no. <laughs> Little pupper. <laughs> Is getting Zim back to Zadia. Why are you hesitating now? Because that's another dragon. We're not trying to Okay, Zim is the prince of dragons, so I understand that. But you know, it's still another dragon. You don't want to lose them. I don't think they're that common. That dragon is defenseless, and I just left her there. It's a connection to the Arcanum that you wouldn't understand, Callum. No, whoops, that would hurt. <laughs> that would hurt him. Possibly remain so cheerful in your dire circumstances. Well, he's a bucket of sunshine. Like this. Why see myself as chained down when I can Please be chained up? I thought I thought Sora would be only with these kind of jokes, but okay, okay. I admire your tenacity. At least Viren was like, kind of like gave the approval. You're gonna have to cut your hand, Viren. I have nothing left to lose. No, he doesn't. She's like, I'm out. Bye. <laughs> you didn't do it in time. Huh. There's so many things we can do with the dragon. There's even a chapter about spells that use dragon snot. It's some powerful goo. <laughs> Me and Soren are like <laughs> equal here in our fresh expressions. Like, ew. How are we gonna move it? Please don't tell me she's gonna say chop it up into pieces or something. Please tell me she's not. Oh, I feel like she is. In pieces. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Callum, Rayla, we're gonna need all of you to step in and do operations to save Fire Dragon. <laughs> it becomes a cycle that never ends. Who told you that? You did. Oh. But Callum, to break that Forget cycle, his own words. someone has to take us. Wait, Rayla. Well, let's not go that far, okay? We want you to come back, Rayla. I can't have you and Rayla without you, Rayla. We can't pull off a disguise. Oh. Live or die, this dragon goes home. Live preferably. But if they've got it chained down, she might be still too weak to even fight. Or move. Ugh, this guy again, of course. <laughs> a dead dragon and a dead elf all in one day. Everything's coming up soaring. Oh, take me back to Ren. <laughs> Please, I want his jokes. Callum's definitely gonna step in. He's not gonna 
let her do this alone. Or he's sitting there drawing his what book. Are you doing? Yep, I draw when I'm upset. Drawing Rayla. Ah, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, no, we're going back on those drawings here, Callum. How many of those? Okay, so you got him and Ezrin. Claudia. Looks like him, Ezrin. Might be Hero. Couldn't tell what that is. Claudia. Hmm, okay. I mean, it makes sense there'd be a lot of Claudia because he likes her. Maybe there is something I can do. He's gonna try and Ezra, take Claudia's book. Stay here. Protect Bait and Zim. Hey. Oh, there's that noise that Bait. I mean, not Bait. Zim, Zim main. We're gonna have fun while they're gone. Why don't we? What well, I think like the key to all this is like Zim. Like they need Zim for something. Like Zim feels an urge to go too. So I feel like something. It has something to do with Zim. Play a game. <laughs> I don't think you can cut through the iron. Oh, yeah, no. Ooh, yeah. You need sunfire like elf stuff. You're made of metal. Hard to cut. Your neck's not hard to cut. Okay, I'm sorry. She doesn't have to. <laughs> he looks angry. Right what is that you have in your hand? Him, you're safe. Is he gonna threaten himself? Oh. What are you doing? Your kind of magic. Uh, I don't know about this. I don't know if you want to use dark magic, Callum. You don't. Oh. Oh, he's turning them into the this way. Yeah, but he doesn't have the tolerance. Get up. You're Smack her. Smack her. You did everything you could to save a monster. Please tell me the dragon wakes up and like either flings Soren or something. Hey, you know what? He flings him and he's Soren. <laughs> Please do that. I want that so bad. Does the rain wake it up? Come on, please. Please fling him. Fling him. Fling him. Fling him. Ah, uh, fling it. <laughs> Are you two playing hide and seek? Oh, bait. His his glow still gives him away. Distraction. <laughs> Zim's gone off. Oh. I don't think you're sort. Oh, oh. Ow. Oh well, there you go. You got flung. Is Zim gonna step in? He is the prince of dragons, so he would command this dragon that I'm gonna assume. Is he gonna bow? Oh no, okay, just leaves. The little dragon's coming with me. Claudia, hey! Come on, get up. We have to get you some help. I I can't move, Claudia. I I can't move. What happened to Soren? What the f- Did he like get paralyzed? Nah, it just didn't just go like really super serious all of a sudden, did it? I mean, okay, it went super serious when we lost Harrow's wife and the two moms of Anya, but, uh. I really want to know what this does. Ew, is that like a star touch moth, caterpillar, butterfly? So it was a transfer over that. It looks like a, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, um, oh my God, a hornworm. No, no, there's a type of caterpillar that has those kind of like horns on it, its head. I forgot what it's called. I don't think it's a lunar moth. It's not, um... It's a kind of, I think, butterfly or... Well, it's gotta be either a butterfly or moth. But I'm pretty sure it's for a butterfly. And the caterpillar has those kind of horns. Hmm. Swallowtail? 
Mothra? <laughs> um, it's not gonna burn into your ear, is it? Please tell me it doesn't. That's gonna be. No, nah, not the ear. Speak. That's not a voice I expected. Speak, so I may hear you. What is it, like an earphone? Who, who are you? Uh, how long I have waited to hear the sound of another voice. I know I already had warning bells with this one, but uh, that's not the voice I was expecting coming out of him. <laughs> I thought it was a... Wait. It, is this alpha female or are they... A then again, I... Wait, we did have that drawing of the, the Star Touch elf with the crest thing going like this. Could that have been this one, but maybe younger or something? Because now I'm noticing, yeah, that I could see the the, the clavicle um, on his chest. So he doesn't have boobas. So, okay, so, <laughs> so it's been a guy, a male elf this whole time. I thought it was a girl. <laughs> that for a moment, I'm like, okay, wait, if I look at the chest and there's boobas, then are they a trans elf? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure. Um, but that is not the voice I was expecting. <laughs> but it, yeah, my warning bells with this elf were going off that I felt like it 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 is either going to be as bad as Viren or worse. And considering he's now saying I haven't heard a voice in years, I feel like he was trapped in this mirror for a reason. He's been trapped in this thing and he's been wanting out. Oh, Viren, through your pursuit of whatever you're doing with this or knowledge or info or something, you're going to probably unleash something that's going to be way more dangerous. You realize. How may I serve you? What is this, genie elf? Also, damn, that guy's got a deep voice. Hey, you got Claudia's dark magic book. I wonder what they... I'll say that for after, but drawings... Oh, Soren against the plushy dragon. Callum with the dark magic eyes. The worm. The worm was is cool. I wonder if it like can grow into it. Oh, oh the, the griffin! Oh, he's missing the eye! This is the griffin that Claudia took the eye from. He looks adorable. You know, I'm not gonna lie, like I understand, like I know this show is kind of like a 2D mixed with 3D. Um, but I would honestly love to see the show in like full on 2D. And the design of the griffin is cute. He looks like a kind of a griffin version of bait where it's that grumpy old man, but also at the same time, he looks like he'd be more, not a grandpa, he'd be more like that uncle, that gruff looking um, uncle, that <laughs> gruff griffin. Um, I hope we get to see this griffin later because this griffin already seems to have character to me that I, I want to see. And I feel like the interactions between um, it and Kai would be great. <laughs> And you end with the cube. Okay. Wait, why does it show like lines on the lines on the table as if it's bit moved? Like it's rolled over or something? Like one, two, yeah, two times it's rolled over. Rolled over on its own or I mean for there to be lines, it means it has to have been sitting there for a long time, I think. That aren't reading too much into that, it's just a simple drawing of, of the cube on a table. <laughs> All right, well, uh, let me go ahead and get in my thoughts then. All right, so, uh, this episode. Well, that, quite a bit, mm, <laughs> quite a bit happened in this one. We got to see that dragon up close, and it was indeed a, I'm calling it a fire dragon, but I'm pretty sure it's a sunfire dragon, excuse me, sunfire dragon. Um, uh, you have Callum using dark magic, so I wonder what the after effects for that gonna be on his body. Like, he's never done it before, didn't prepare, didn't try a light spell. He did not a major spell, but probably something that's not for someone that's a beginner or a newbie to try. Um, so I wonder what that's gonna do to his body or the effects it's gonna have. Um, especially considering we know that dark magic like affects someone mentally. Like it, it kinda, not warps them, but like, I guess you could say warp. So I, I wonder what that's gonna, even though, 
I wonder if that's gonna make him want to do more, more dark magic because of the feeling he had, or it's gonna make him really not want like dark magic because of how it makes him feel. Um, then you have uh, you have Soren who like I did he did hit that that rock that boulder with the like middle of his back, so I wonder if he's paralyzed. Hello, you you gracing gracing us with your presence. You know, look, I look over over here. Here you go. Hey, everyone. Hey, hey, hey. He's a crazy girl. All right, I I I'm in the middle of my thoughts, precious darling dear. Oh come on, come on, come on. You've given everyone your your guest appearance. Now go 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 eat your kibble. Um, but yeah, he hit his back on that uh, boulder, specifically in the middle. So I'm wondering because he said he can't move and he sounds like he couldn't really breathe. And I also noticed he had like, I think it was blood on his back. I wonder if he, uh, like there was nothing sharp there, I don't think, so I don't think he got pierced by anything, but I think it, he definitely did something to his spine. And I, that's gonna be dark if they make him like paralyzed or something, or if, I wonder if they're gonna have to use like magic or dark magic or something to heal him. I wonder, or are they gonna have, mm. I'll say those thoughts depending on how where that this goes when it comes to Soren. Um, so okay, that dragon did escape. Um, I wonder if it's gonna because it's gonna remember that Rayla and Callum like helped it, and like uh, it's gonna help them later on. Like if they get into a cornered situation or something like that, and it comes in and helps them, um, that'll be interesting. That or what if it tells like other dragons that the Prince of Dragons is alive or is returned or something like that? Hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, overall plot for this episode was great, uh, characters were great, animation was great, music was great, um, actually, you know, what do we mean? The music was good, like, I, I would say the music that stood out to me most in this episode was when Rayla was fighting, and it kind of gave me Avatar Last Airbender vibes, um, for the sound, um, but other than that, the rest of it I didn't really notice, <laughs> so I would say the music was good. Um, yeah, other than that, um, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you like early access to my full unedited reactions, go join my Patreon. I'll put the link for it somewhere around here. But yeah, uh, anyway, uh, I hope you have a wonderful morning, after night, and keep ring bright. See ya!